Welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy and welcome to the final area. Oh, you're raging. I don't like that. I can actually grab you while you do that. I can. I didn't mean to kill you. He pushed. He did that kind of. There we go. That's teamwork. Nice. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. Otherwise, I'll probably going to kill you accidentally. That guy over there is flipping out a little bit. Oh, stormtroopers. I think we can fix that. Boom. There we go. Oh, this, this guy's probably going to just send the missile straight back. Yep. Playing some missile pong there. Uh, we're not really invested in that. You be careful, otherwise you will run into my blade or so. Th these, these guys like to do that. You know what? I don't really... I'm not really invested in that fight. Ooh, there's a... There's some... Um, Force lighting fireworks going on there. Someone else can fight you, yeah. And let's just make this jump here, hopefully. Yep. Yeah. Well, come over here. How about that? Oh, there's three of you. That's a lot. Well, if you want to get me, then feel free to get me. You're probably just going to kill one another. Oh, you're fighting. Oh, yeah, you're fighting one another. Let's see how that ends. I'm kind of curious. Oh, that was a bad idea. Three against one. Oh, we actually killed one. Not bad. Oh, you killed two of them. You also got killed, but that was actually pretty good. Yeah, this fight here is rigged. The bad guy here is actually invincible. But what usually happens is that... Oh, what are you guys doing? I used this. Come on. All of you survived and then you just killed one another. They really should not... There was actually another shield boot booster in the chasm, but never mind. They should really stop the eye from behaving in... Like, if, if they accidentally hurt one another, they, sh they shouldn't. They shouldn't retaliate. But anyway, that fight's actually rigged. What's supposed to happen is that... That evil force user gets... Gets unlimited hit points, and then as soon as you you are nearby... The hit points of the, the, the good Jedi all drop to one and then he just killed them but that didn't happen this time anyway not really concerned about that guy up there so if they want to get me they are free to get me but I'm not here to play cultist babysitter so let's just get up here and maybe we can even preserve my shields I wouldn't bet on it however and let's see what awaits us over here There's some more chasms Check it out. So you have a flechette. Oh, hello. You actually saw me, but it was too little too late. Let's see. Well, these stormtroopers here aren't really too much of a challenge at this point here, naturally. But some of them do have rocket launchers and flechettes and stuff, so... Some of them actually have a non-zero chance. Wait, was it a double kill? I don't think it was, was it? Let's see, there we go. I think there was most of them that are hanging out in this specific area. So let's see, yeah, there's more of you, but that's not too much of an issue. Here is an academy ship. There's just more guys hanging out there. So these stormtroopers really have no peripheral vision, do they? Or frontal vision. I'm not going to need this, this rifle all that much later on anyway, so I may as well utilize it. Oh, that, that hit the the hitbox of the ship, but never mind. But I should be able to... This guy is looking right at me. Maybe he's sleeping in his helmet. I guess you can't really see that. If... Oh, hoo, hoo. oh sorry. Well, that looks sad, doesn't it? Never mind. Anyway... Careful here. Careful with that rocket launcher, okay? You might hurt somebody. So let's just recharge a little bit. And then go zappy zappy on those rocket launcher guys. Oh, 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 careful. Where did that come from? I hear a rocket launchers. Ooh, that guy is surrounded. He didn't see me. 
Oh, hoo -hoo, right in your face. Wow. You're, you're a bit of a hero. You might actually survive this. Yeah, I don't think we actually need to fight that guy, but let's just see how this ends. If indeed they do fight. There we go. Wow. That guy isn't bad at all. Yep. That guy sure murdered all of those. Those guys. Well done, well done. Yeah, generally spoken, these fights are very random, so don't rely on the AI actually helping you out. Hello. Wow, that threw me back quite a bit. Well, look at that. Still holding his lightsaber. But that's okay with me. Boom. Don't mind me just kicking your corpse here. So there should be more guys in, in the next room. Although I knew it. It is a Jedi. What were you expecting? This entire valley here is full of Jedi. This is essentially the, the Valley of the Jedi all over again. Not quite, but effectively. Oh, don't choke on that. Oh, you, you're one of the better ones, aren't you? But not good enough. Okay, so there's still two of those guys. So we'll have to be a bit careful here. Let's maybe heal up fully before we confront those folks. I think these should be the last guards. It's probably... Let's, let's actually check these guys out. Uh, both saber staff and dual saber? No, yeah, dual saber user. Typical. Well, let's see. Could he speed up a little bit? Careful, yep. Yeah. There we go. That's how it should be. You can try to push these guy down, guys down there, but it's it's not very likely. So maybe maybe don't rely on that. And look at that. There's Magna Ragnos uh, just slouching on his throne. And it's time to confront Tavion. You know what? Maybe Khan should have just killed her, or you know, at least apprehend her because he was she was effectively a wanted criminal. So maybe I mean there's a middle ground between murdering her and letting her go, but oh well. It's too late now, I guess. Tavion! This stops here. Ah, Kyle's good student. You're too late. Soon, Mark Ragnos will return and obliterate the Jedi. The Sith shall rule again. You're delusional. Kyle told me all about you. How you went crawling away after he defeated you. Silence, whelp! I will make Kyle Katarn's failure complete. My victory? Rosh's corruption. And now your death will drive him to the dark side. Never! Katarn's It's on. I will not cower as I did before Katarn. I shall not be denied. By the Force. Marka Ragnos. <gasps> A mere Jedi child will not undo my return. That's Jedi Knight, Ragnos. You will kneel before me, Jedi. Ah! Well, it seems like this isn't over yet. We have to find Tavion again, or rather, Ragnos possessing Tavion's body. So let's just go up here. Should be some goodies here. And she's just standing around there. She now has her, like, force sword. 
So let's just recover our energy here. And then we're going to confront her. She doesn't really seem to be busy trying to come after us, but that's okay. So, time to protect ourselves and time for some speed. Tevin, you're going to do anything? Oh, there we go. That's better. It's over. Ragnos will not be resurrected. The scepter is destroyed. And Tavion? Dead. Ragnos had possessed her. Her body couldn't withstand the corruption. When I destroyed the scepter and Ragnos left her body, there was nothing left. Jaden, you did more than we could have ever hoped. You have become a true Jedi. Thank you, Master Skywalker. But I couldn't have done it without Kyle. Don't get all mushy on me, kid. Come on. Let's get out of here. I've heard from the New Republic. The Imperials supporting the Disciples of Ragnos have been defeated, and the remaining cultists have been rounded up. It seems they lost their powers when the Scepter was destroyed. I hope that's the last we see of them. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's never say never. Rosh, I hope your experience has taught you the patience and humility that may one day turn you into a great Jedi. Yes, Master Skywalker. Thank you. Jaden. You fought bravely, resisted the dark side, and saved another Jedi from certain death. You will be a valuable member of the Jedi Order. You deserve it, Jaden. You're the best student I've ever trained, and a terrific Jedi. Thank you both. There's still a galaxy full of trouble out there. Are you ready for another mission? As luck would have it, I am. And that, my friends, was... Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, the final entry in the Dark Forces Jedi Knight series. This one here is my favorite in a couple of regards. I wouldn't say it's my favorite overall, I'm not quite sure. I'm kind of kind of on the fence here between... To be honest, I kind of like all of them. I think Dark Forces has the strength of pure shooter. I like Mistress of the Thirst for the atmosphere. Outcast as well for the design and everything, but I like the the force progression from the Jedi Academy because firstly you don't have to collect four stars you can select your powers you can select them freely right from the start so you don't have to wait until they actually upgrade like an outcast an outcast was a bit of a shame that certain powers such as lightning you got level three lighting which they only got lightning I think for the last one or two levels so it really was a bit of a waste but here you can just get it after the first three missions if you really want to, which I pretty much did. And I also like the mission system. Of course, it does mean that the story doesn't get advanced all the time. But then again, what Outcast and uh, Dark Forces 2 did for the most part was just to uh, just have, have the levels be a lot longer. Most levels had, or most places had two or three different stages so it was always all oh, the outside and then some outposts and then the interior and whatnot 
So this level, this game here, if you just take the story missions, kind of feels like that. Even though the story missions are a little bit shorter overall, most of them are maybe like 20 to 30 minutes. I think 30 minutes is kind of the maximum. And in the other games, some levels could be really long, especially in Outcast. The first couple of levels, they feel very long. They could also be kind of confusing and somewhat difficult because you have no force powers and no lightsaber and everything. If I think of all this, this one here has actually aged uh, fairly well and the lightsaber comments show pretty good. The dismemberment and everything is amazing. And that's also something they never quite brought back, I think. I don't think Star Wars The Old Republic or... Uh, what's his face? I forgot the name. The Force Unleashed. Well, the Force Unleashed 2, I don't think they have that. To be I'm not really a big fan of the Force Unleashed. Especially the, the Windows version. It's terrible. That has console port written all over it. Yeah, but overall, uh, I would definitely recommend this game even today. You can get it running in high resolution uh, with relative ease. And it runs fine on Windows 7. And I also think it runs around on Windows 10. I'm not really aware that there's many issues. At least a lot less issues than, let's say, getting Dark Forces uh, to run on the, uh, Windows 7. That, that's an absolute, that's a technical nightmare. Mystery of this was even worse. Getting that to record with controls probably set up and everything. Uh, that was... Uh, this might have been my uh, my worst game ever to, to just set up and everything. Oh well. But anyway, uh, regarding the story, it's it's pretty standard. You're the students, you're pretty much a blank slate. Rush's rush betrayal. It's so it's so obvious. It's the usual stuff, and then you, you get seduced by the dark side and everything. So speaking of which, I'm going to going to show you the dark side ending as well. But we're going to get to that another day. Yeah, it's it's pretty obvious, but then again, it's Star Wars, so uh, my expectations aren't really that high. And these games, I think they have decent stories, but I would say overall, Dark Force 2 still has the best. Even though I like that this game here has more Force users. It's a little bit of, a, of an inflation, and that also has been criticized about the prequel trilogy. But then again, you also want to fight Force users. You don't just want to fight Stormtroopers. That was a little bit of an issue with especially Mysteries of the Sith where you only really had force user bosses and some of these bosses were just painful really but here it's a little bit of a different story so we've got a lot of force users and they're a lot more varied than they were in Outcast. In Outcast you have the Reborn, here have got the new Reborn and the Cultists you have specialized ones, some of them are really tough and it's really fun to uh, to have opponents that you can't just slide through. Whereas stormtroopers you just rush in, you can always just stab them. And they did remove some for force powers here, but to be honest, some of them, like force destruction, were just kind of useless. And other ones, like force persuasion, were just ridiculously overpowered. But well, anyway, I think I'm going to leave it here, and I shall see you next time when we join the dark side. Take care and goodbye.